very well. We uh, discuss our education, the Michael Polis, uh, in a very brief manner. Michael Polis is, uh, we combine, we combine our micro study view into the flow, flow mechanics. Maybe you have no idea about the food mechanics, right? It's a, it's a course in mechanical engineering. But through it, hello, fluid around us every day. So what the fluid is very important. We, we must have something to know about the fluids, and especially about the microfluids. Why the microfluid is important to buy? Biomechanics. When we want to do some testing about the chip test, whatever the DNA, RNA, or protein, we cannot just set only a single spot, right? We should bring bring all the specimen through liquid, through liquid. And our specimen is so tiny, and our what? You know, there our body we have we have many many small blood vessel. I mean the capillary, capillary, right? How small capillary? Small way. Capillary only has a size nine meter, about five my even five micro, five micro about the inner nine meter. How much more? Even smaller than you are, red blood thing or white blood thing. But it still functions very well. Also functions very well. So here we want to dress in some. Hello. Keep one, please. Okay, last hour, huh? We'll try to speed up the process about the micro police and then at the final we'll take the photo. Huh? The photo. So a lot of the problem. About the small scale heat transfer, low temperature BDMS process, microfluidic pump, bump, microfluidic system. You know, what I most care about is pump and the bump. Pump and the bump. How to do the liquid transport from this bridge to that bridge, right? From our head to the feet, from our heart to our head. How to transport. It's our Body, no problem. But how about the artificial chip? If we want to make an artificial chip, do the similar work in the microscopic view, it is not easy. It's not easy. Okay. So let's continue. With the small scale heat transfer experiment I ever carried out in 1993 in UCLA, Caltech, that make a very, very fine micro channel here. The total length is only several, I believe, several millimeters. And uh, they are distributing many, many Pluto sensors along the channel. And they try to find out what is the pressure variation. So it's the first time human people try to understand the microscopic pressure distribution in this so small scale. And some new data found it, quite different from the prediction of traditional fluid mechanics. Uh, so human beings can do that, can do this kind of work. We also ever use the back micro machine micro channel we group actually to make it some micro channel to do the work about cooling. Cooling. Uh, in 1990, a lot of problems about computer. Computer cooling is a very hot topic. Right now, maybe solved, a lot of problems solved. But at that time, a lot of micro channel using the micro machine technology had ever invented to solve the problem. And then, after approaching 2000, George Whiteside at Harvard University invented a very easy way to make it microchannel. 
micro channel. We use the PDFS. What is the PDFS? Silicon gel. Silicon gel is a matter of waterproof material. Very soft, transparent. So good for, for good for inspection and easy for fabrication. So we started from the silicon gel. Gel is, is something that like spin coated, you know, something like the photography is very, very, you know, in the gel manner. But finally, you can use a baking process, trying to transfer it into a solid. But it, 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 it's something like gel, uh, plus you know, the gummy bear, very similar to the gummy bear, can be very soft. Uh, but when using this kind of PDMS process, you can transfer this pattern to this pattern. Even you are bothered with this is with the dimension of five nanometer, even five nanometer. They can transfer the five nanometer dimension into PDMS successfully. So people can use PDMS technology to make it micro channel or nano channel. No problem, very easy right now. So, white side is a very important. We have a great achievement out of here. Uh, most of people right now use the SUA resist and the PDMS process to do the micro flow chain of micro fluid research and so on. So, here I will mention some research results we have ever taken now. Number one is surface tension flow. Service station drilling flow. What is service station drilling flow? I don't ever heard the glucose, glucose sensor, glucose sensor. For some station, he has a proper right? What is that? It's a dial. With a patient, he has, he has some problem about the blood sugar problem. He uh, feel very hungry. But always has some problem about sugar, right? He always he should be should ask Dr. what is it? Dye or what is it? I forgot the English name. Huh? Ask diabetics? Diabetics? I, I forgot the name. You know, in the patient, no? He always should take some sugar and body. You feel some, right? You want to take the sugar at the, at the right time, otherwise you will fall down. You will feel down. Dial. That face, right? So the patient of that face, yeah, he has a, he, he need to make sure the sh blood sugar very open. How he mentioned the blood sugar? You find out many doctor to check for him. No time, right? No other way. He check blood sugar by himself. So use a pin. Very easy, huh? Do the pain, take the skin, and try to pull one drop in the works, the blood. Put one drop in the blood to a specimen. And you can see some testament. Now there's a brush sugar meter and with some testing paper. The paper try to pick up that drop in the sugar. And, and you can see some meter value appear. Why you can show? I can show the the the, 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 the measure data. Hey, where when you pump where where can you pump in the blood into the test section? You know? It is what? Capillary force. It's a capillary force. I show you now. Can you see the front? Show us again. So this is the droplet, the channel. The channel, okay. Preparing to drop. Drop it, you can see this front. Can you see? Some liquid front. Okay, once again. Attention, okay, you see? 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 Why he can pump it over? Why? 
many uh, electric companies pushing? No, nothing. Nothing. Capital force. Do you know what is the capital force? Have you observed capital force? Have you observed capital force? If you, that's why you treat the coax or the water in the straw, you will see some liquid pipe. Right? Liquid pipe in the straw. In the straw deal. Higher. Why higher? Capri force. Yeah, capri force. So it gets to the capri force. So you can see, the capillary force, you mean that there's a little bit liquid rise on the edge, right? If you let the tube here, 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 and here to horizontal, whatever, the ground will go to infinity, no stop. Understand? It will go to the infinity, no stop. This is the situation up there, here. We drop it. And then the micro channel. Small piping. Small piping. You want to reach the high, so it will go to the infinity. So the liquid will go to the infinity. Automatic suction. Automatic suction. In the manner of automatic suction. So, similar. We will put a drop like the on the blood. Or blood. Put over here in the entrance. The blood will be suctioned into the capillary tube without any kind of attraction. You don't you, you don't need to use any kind of electrical energy or something like that. You will suction into the tube automatically, but for only one time. Only one time. We suction into so the blood suction into the tube. So in the test, the pa test paper, this is quite a very small channel. So put the droplet and the suction into test station. So you can take the measurement real time. Uh, so you don't need to do any kind of driving. It's the automatic driving. Call it the surface tension driven flow or capillary driven flow. So if you can understand this kind of yes. principle, you can try to design your own micro channel. You can design your own micro channel. It's very easy for you to do the feeding. Water, liquid feeding. But only for one time. Only for one time. That it feels and normal. Okay. You will feel it unless you dry. You will dry back again. Yeah, I can feel once again. So, so other people, not only for take care about the one color water suction, somebody can even try to control the droplet. They can control the droplet. To, it's, it's something like a chest, right? You know, that's a chest. Chest mark. Yeah. Yeah. Go, right? The, the, something like a Chinese goal, chess, Chinese chess, right? You can put some. But it's a liquid, it's a liquid droplet. It is a real liquid droplet. So we can use the surface tension force to control its position. And that the different kinds of droplet, hello, different kinds of droplet is with the, the mixing. Different droplets are not can match together with the mixing or separate. Can separate, basic separate, do uh, the manipulation of different problem. Okay, right now, okay, you may, may wonder is it possible to use the electrical voltage or power to push it? Yes, we can. Uh, in the electro hydrodynamic pumping. Okay, we, this time we're using some pump. Pump. There is a transparent. Electro, we call it the ITO. ITO. ITO is the kind of transparent conducting wire. 
we are dependent on the glass in the defense and the make the pump. Okay, you feel the table uh, and uh, listen to me, huh? So this not work. So you can see on uh, this micro channel, uh, we have some liquid inside. We are applying the voltage. You can pump in the liquid according to one direction. According to one direction. So it's very similar to it's very similar to the situation what we observed in our vessel, uh, our ground vessel. But it's the electrical beams. Electrical beams. Uh, similar for other now. For other kind, it, it's, some, it's a similar EHD pumping. We multiply several times and try to make the liquid pumping more permissive, uh, more permissive for this. We use several kinds of different material to do the pumping. And this kind is something like an injection, uh, injection pumping. It finally has some injection effect. But the, uh, all, the, all these three types, not good enough, not in the printer. We use a printer process. Our micro channel type. Hello, this is please. Uh, the micro high, channel height is too, is too small, so not good for our good liquid transportation. Uh, some bubble we are choking our flow. So finally, uh, we, we we have to make a circular tube, circular tube, I and mean, then procession around getting larger in the three dimension, three circuit, circular tube. And uh, this electrode is spiral, spiral, spiral electrode. So it's a three-dimensional. The three-dimensional is much better, much better flow rate, a much better flow rate. On the flow rate about one thousand times they in our previous data. So we can do very excellent liquid transportation under our control. We only control the voltage. And we can have our own power control about the velocity. About the velocity. So this is what we happen in about pumping. Our pumping. But we also make the bar. So here we show you the simple thing, the most simple way about the bar. We don't need to do any kind of complicated device. We use a micro tube. 
and do this kind of buckle, automatic stuff. We have studied the degree about one, about, yeah, it is smaller than, uh, it is smaller than about 16 degree to start to start to grow. Yeah, it's a big deal, right? We ever try to miniaturize the tube diameter until to about 0.3 mic, uh, there are about 300 micrometers, still very, still function, still the same, similar, will suffer from. And you know how do we do the actuation? How do we do the actuation? This one. We use the bimimic, bimimic actuation way now. It's a bimimic actuation, it's our tube. We try to change the angle. Get the angle large. Channel flow, no problem. But you will, you will distort it to a very small angle, start flow, flow start, flow start. But how can you actuate this angle? We use a um, pickup, pickup like actuator. It's a very famous, very beautiful bird in India. Pickup. Right, pick up. The bit in the extended, very beautiful, right? Similar to this. We have the action like this. No water, if no water feel inside, the capillary force actuation, you will extend it to this angle. If it has some liquid inside, you are trying to pull out this tube with uh, another angle and release. So if water inside, Water outside the pickup feeder, in the pickup feeder, you will get have the water, you will put up open, will open the flow. You try, we restore it to its original place. So we use a very different way to do the actuation. A very large way of actuation, quite different from what we talked about the bio, right? Micro actuator I mentioned last time, right? It is a different, the mic is a fully, fully way, temporary flow, fully way. So you know, in max or small scale, you have a lot of games you can play with. Even this kind, even this kind of device, we can publish journal paper, very good journal paper. Yeah, but interesting job, my student have ever done. So, uh, yeah, so I'll let you see this movie a little bit, right? The SUA, is that SUA structure? If you take it from the water, it will, all the small figures we are collect together, but put in the water, it will extend it, extend to the original print. We're going to try. So when you try, this angle will go from this place to the, this place. We will have a little bit tilting, tilting, tilting angle. But you need to wait, wait for the drying, water drying in the capillary, capillary position. Actually, it's the, it's the natural way, you know, for some tree, you know, they have some, you know, what is it? They have some, you know, from, from pine tree, some pine tree, they have some fruit, they want to, you know, but, you know, they want to uh, project their seeds outside from their original mountain tree. You know. Then sometimes they use this kind of method try to eject, you know. Original maybe is the, uh, what, what is it? In the, in the wet condition and water, right? But when in the dry season, dry season, no water, you will steady, 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 and finally, you will project something out, see if you can project out of the mother tree. So uh, it's a good way for propagation of uh, their baby out of the mother tree. So actually, we learn from nature.
So finally, you try to find out some way to assemble all the fully sensor and actuator together in our system. Uh, in our system. So a lot of possibility can be carried out. So here, now this time, I only mentioned some sensor and actuator concept to you. But I think the most interesting part is you are, I mean, you are thinking. You try to think in more interesting things, not only confine the cell we introduce to you. Another thing, by, you know, by nature of word, another interesting thing inside. But the for current, for current situation, you still study very well, right? So they more hard. And then try, if it's possible, try to look for some interesting natural phenomena. Not combine only your computer science. Computer science, know how it's also very important, but sometimes you look at other people. So this time I believe all my digital material are quite different from your own expertise. Right? Try to open your mindset. So I hope you like it. Hope you like it. And uh, I will, uh, maybe I, next year I will come back again. Yeah, and keep introducing other interesting things to you. Okay, so with a very good experience, yeah, stay with you. Yeah, hope you every single thing here is successful and you have a good care good career in the future. Okay, thank you. So how about the good interest? Good Huh? Okay. Okay. <laughs>